Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. And today's segment, we're going to be covering a very common question that comes up in my workshops and classes. People always ask me, Karen, what do I do if I am trying to go after and sell to chain stores and then I come across this chain store that asks for exclusivity? So they want me to not sell it anywhere else except for with them. So they want exclusivity. How do I handle that? Should I agree to that? What do you think? So here's what I say to you. As a retail sales professional or someone who sold products to retailers for years, the last thing in the world I want to do is pigeonhole my product into one chain store, one company, because I want to be able to sell to as many companies as possible. And if I agree to exclusivity to one chain store and they say, you know, you have to agree that we'll, we'll get exclusive rights to this for a while, I actually try and avoid that like the plague. So most of the time though, chain store buyers are not gonna ask you for that. I mean, they really are not because to think about it from their perspective, they don't want that kind of responsibility. They don't know if your product's gonna sell well or whatever. So most of the time they'll never even gonna ask you. So if you're really paranoid about that, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Really, it comes down to if like your product's awesome and, and they want exclusivity for like a while. The way to combat that, by the way, is if, if a buyer ever asks you that, I'll agree maybe only if it's a really large quantity, right? If it's really, really worth your while to, to agree to this. But also maybe you can give them a month head start or you can give exclusivity for an, a few weeks or a month or something where before anybody else brings it to market. So you can kind of determine that a little bit, maybe give them a little bit of leg room for that, but not ex entirely. Honestly, I would never agree to exclusivity unless it's say Walmart and they're about to buy millions of units for me and then, you know, something to consider. There's real money there. But if it's not a lot of money and you don't feel good about it, don't do it. But honestly, it really depends on you. And again, most of the time, the chain store buyers aren't going to ask you for that. They don't want to deal with the headache of being responsible for selling your products to stores unless, you know, they know it's really proven and stuff. And most of the time, they just don't do it. So anyways, I hope that provides value for you. This is Karen Waxman, Retail MBA, RetailMBA.com. And please be on the lookout for the additional videos that I create. Thanks.